Question 29 of the JAM 2018 Mathematics Pass Question, that's your UTME CBT exams. It says evaluate the integral. We're having two limits here, the upper limit being 2 and the lower limit being 1. The integral of what? x squared minus 4x dx. I hope you remember integration. Remember, when you are uh, see, trying, preparing for jam, you have to what, study your calculus, okay? You have to know a bit of calculus, your differentiation and integration. Okay, so from here, what do we do? So what's, first of all, what's the integral of x squared minus 4x? And the integral of that is, what's the integral of x square that will be what you are going to add a one to the power which will give us what three then you divide x uh x by what three so we have what x raised to the power three which is two plus one then divide by what three then minus four x we are going to add one to this power this x has a power of one so when we add another one it's going to be two and we'll divide by two so we have what four x squared divided by 2. From here, 2 can cancel out. This is 1 and this is what 2. So what are we left with? We are left with what? x raised to the power 3 over 3 minus what 2. And considering our limits, our upper limit being what 2 and our lower limit being what 1. So let us put in the value of our, uh, our limit into the equation, okay? Into x, okay? So here we have what? For 2, we have what? 2 raised to the power 3 over over 3 minus what for sorry we didn't drop this this is x square okay minus 2 raised to power minus 2 times 2 uh, raised to power what 2 okay all into brackets then we're going to subtract the lower limits that is 1 put to, uh, the value of uh, uh, x as 1 okay so we have here 1 raised to power 3 divided by 3 minus what 2 times 1 raised to the power 2. Okay, let's solve this. What do we have here? We're going to have 8 over 3 minus, uh, this is a 2 raised to the power 2 is 4. 4 times 2 will give us what 8. We have 8 over 1 here. So well, let's solve this fraction quickly. Uh, what's the LCM here? The LCM will be 3. 3 in 3 is 1 times, uh, 1 times 8 will give us what 8 minus, what is 3 in 1? 3 in 1 is what is still 3 and 3 times 8 will give us what 24. And what is 8 minus 24? 8 minus 24 will give us a minus what 16, okay, divided by 3. So we have minus 16 over 3 here. So here let's solve this. We have 1. 1 raised to the power 3 is still 1. So we have 1 divided by 3 minus 2 times 1 raised to the power 1, which 1 raised to the power 1 raised to the power 2, I mean, is still 1, and 1 times 2 is still 2. So let's solve this fraction here. We have our LCM as 3. 3 in 3 is 1, and 1 times 1 is still 1, minus 3 in 1 is still 3. Or 1 in 3 is 3, and 3 times 2 is what? 6. So 1 minus 6 will give us what? 5. It will give us a negative what? 5 over 3. Okay? So from here, what do we have? We have a minus 16 divided by 3 minus minus 5 over 3. This negative will multiply. Okay? So negative times negative will give us what? A positive. So we have here minus 16 over 3 plus 5 over 3. So let's find what's the LCM here. Solving this fraction, the LCM is what? 3. Okay? 3 in 3 is 1. And 1 times minus 16, we have still a minus 16. Plus 3 in 3 is 1. And 1 times 5, we have a positive what? 5. So what is minus 16 plus 5? Minus 16 plus 5 will give us what? A negative what? 11. So we have minus 11 over 3. So this is our answer. Answer is what? Minus 11 over 3. And our right option here is option D.